this guy was wowing people all year long, and now he is a veteran heading into his second camp along with Willie McGinnis. This is Denzel Ward. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. You How much? Call him by his locker room name. I'm sorry. He's the warden. He's the no warden. Longer, no more. No more government name. You gotta call him by his his baller name. It's the warden. Do you have a badge? A badge? Oh yeah, I'm certified. I'm certified. <laughs> certified I'm to lock down, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much different does this year feel, Denzel? Your top five pick last mm -hmm. year. A lot of people wanted Bradley Chubb. You know that, mm -hmm. right? The team was 0 and 16. You come in there, you get two picks. It's a different feel immediately. Mm -hmm. And then now, this. Mm -hmm. How does this year feel? Yeah, this for personally, I just feel a lot more comfortable coming into this year, just knowing what I'm getting myself into. Uh, from the first year as a rookie, you don't really know what's going on. You're just trying to fit in and uh, learn the playbook and everything. So I'm just a lot more comfortable and just come out competing and practicing, ready to go. That's the system, but you know, it's 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 a journey. Mm -hmm. The years are long. It takes a long from college to the NFL. Mm -hmm. You play a lot more games. You were just talking about off camera your body. You got to right. make sure your body is feeling Definitely. good too, and you stand on the football field. Definitely. Like compared from last year to this year, I've been getting in the cold tub a lot more often. <laughs> and a lot more massages this year because I know you do got to take care of your body a little bit more, uh, especially at this level, how physical it is. I mean, that that was the thing last year. You you you. You had a couple of injuries. You battled mm. to get back on the field. You obviously had a concussion there as well. Greg Williams got on you. Mm. Dude, learn how to tackle, <laughs> right? Does Steve Wilkes get on you about that as well? Yeah, they, they still get on me. People just get on me in different ways, though. Like last year, Greg, he was a little more vocal to the a little media more. and everything. And <laughs> Greg how, is different. How, right? Yeah, and how he approached things. But, yes, people still get on me and uh, knowing I got focused on my technique and everything, though. When you talk about technique, um, you definitely got to apply that going against – Juice Landry and OBJ and Callaway and Higgins and all those guys. Mm. The difference last year, you talked about, okay, I, I was I was still treading water. I didn't really get it this year. But now you're playing against better receivers right. every day in practice. Does that make you better going into the season and more confident? Yeah, no doubt. I definitely feel it makes me better and a lot more confident. Because like, like you said, those big-name receivers, and uh, they go out and make plays. And so I'm just out here going against those guys every day, and they're working my craft, and I'm helping them out as well. What so are I they teaching you? What is OBJ saying? You didn't do – you didn't do this on that play. You need to do this a little bit better. And I know you guys talk. Yeah, yeah. It just depends on a specific rep and uh, what happens in that play. Uh, if someone knocks the ball down, then he's saying, oh, what happened here? And it's just a constant communication throughout the whole practice. Do you guys listen to the outside noise? I know Freddie says it's about us. We're focusing here, team, all that stuff. It's, it's good coach speak. Mm -hmm. But there's no way you don't hear the hype this team is getting. Yeah, you obviously hear it. Um, it's kind of hard to avoid social media a lot, but you try not to listen to it as much and just focus in-house and focus on what you got to do here. How do, you, how do you block it out? Uh, just don't really entertain it and buy into all the comments and all the hype. Just do what you got to do. You came in last year when Freddie Kitchens wasn't the head coach, mm. and now uh, he's trying to create a culture and try to create that team chemistry and make everybody buy in. Do you see from last year to this year and talking to guys – how guys are now buying into the team versus individualism? Yeah, I definitely feel guys are buying into the team and believing in what uh, Coach Kitchens is talking about. And uh, everybody's believing in each other coming out here. And that's what camp is for. Everybody, all the guys are getting closer and uh, competing with one another and getting on the same page. What wide receiver gave you, or let me rephrase that, what wide receiver was the biggest challenge mm -hmm. for you last year? Uh, last year, I will say Antonio Brown. Tony He's Brown. everybody's biggest challenge. <laughs> In other words, you're not going to miss him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're not going to miss him, but he might end up playing him. Yeah. Quick quick question. I was with Rodney Harrison mm. um, the other day, and he just went into the Patriots Hall of Fame. One of the best DBs, safeties, cornerback, whatever, mm. has ever played the game. He had battles mm -hmm. with Brady in practice, which made Brady better and made him better. Do you kind of get into it with Baker? Do you guys go at each other a little bit? Do you challenge him? Um, does he teach you anything? Do you like going ones versus ones? Yeah, I definitely like going ones versus ones. Uh, me and Baker, we don't get into it too much uh, vocally, but uh, I go go at it with the guys, with the receivers and everything. But I definitely enjoy going ones on ones and best on best. That was to get you better for the game. I want to double back to the defensive coordinator switch. You're obviously different personalities, Greg Williams definitely. and, and Steve Wilkes. But how different are these defenses mm -hmm. going to be? How much are you guys changing things? Uh, I feel last year we ran a lot of man-to-man -man most of the time, and we weren't man-to-man, -man, we covered two. This year I feel we're a lot more covered three uh, when we're not going man-to-man. -man. So just a little switch up there, and 
uh, different variations of coverages. And you got better players on defense now. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys are deep. I know you lost Peppers, who was one of the better players, one of the better safeties. But up front, you got guys that you can send four at the quarterback and drop seven now. Definitely. Like, that's a luxury a lot of teams don't have. Definitely. And you definitely see that here in camp, uh, those guys up front making plays from Miles to OV and Sheldon, all those guys making plays and helping us out on the back end. So we work as a unit, and uh, we're going to help each other out. Can you gamble now a little bit more at the quarterback position? Can you jump routes or can you anticipate a little bit more knowing you got those right. guys that's going to get home? I believe so. And we also got the great safety help by uh, like Demarius yeah, Randall, Randall, so trusting him over top. So, By the way, I saw the smile there. He, he said, can you gamble? And you you, you kind of lit up like, yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> no I'm question. getting more than three picks. That was that, was that I'm getting exactly. more than three picks. That's space. the plan. That's the plan. Well, and if you do that, maybe you get in the top 100. Did, did, how did you get left out of the top 100? Yeah, I know. I'm not. I'm not Let's sure. Let's just say injuries. We weren't able to be out sure. there. Sure. We didn't finish the year like the right. way we wanted to. Yeah. I got you. Buddy. But I know that you took notice. Yeah, I did take notice. I did feel kind of disrespected, but I just, I don't know. I can't focus too much on. It. I just got to go out, prove myself this year, and uh, try again there this year. Guys got plenty to prove this year. You got Greedy Williams. They even asked you about him on the other side of the ball as well. The Browns' top pick this year, second round, 46th. 21 and 22 years old. This guy played at 21 last year as a Peace. rookie. He's now 22. <laughs> he is the warden heading into year number two. Uh, his uniform, though, uh, not like the police had. He's, he's got the helmet. <laughs> Denzel Ward, thanks for joining us. Appreciate Steve. it.